Hi, I am Vivek from IV Professional School. In this video, I would like to guide you through some of the prerequisites for taking the Practical Machine Learning with Python course. We won't be discussing any concepts for now. We are reserving that for when you take this course. What I'd like to do here is to guide you through the installation process for Python so that we don't waste time doing that in class. After watching this video, I will expect you all to install Python in your system so that by the time you take this course, you have all that is needed to take the plunge. Okay, so Continuum Analytics has come up with its own distribution for Python, especially for data science. Since they are generous enough to make that open source, we will use their Anaconda distribution, as they call it, for our classes. So go to their website, uh, continuum.io slash downloads, and download your own copy of the Anaconda distribution. For Windows users, it's over here. For Mac users, choose the OS X version. And for Linux users, you can go for this. Now, I would personally recommend you all to download the 2.7 version as it is much more stable than its successor and the package support is very vast. Now once you have downloaded that you get a binary file something like this and then all you need to do is go through the default options so you can here do it for all users requires admin privileges and we'll go ahead and install it so just keep those on for now and hit the install key to install so it will take a while to install Okay, I just uh, paused the video so that we don't have to uh, see the whole installation process but then um, it should go like this and it should finish off by itself. So let's wait for a while until this finishes. So yeah, now it's completed, you just have to click next and then finish. So there's a couple of more things I'd like you to do. Uh, press Windows R in your systems and type CMD to open a command prompt window. Here, I would like you to type this text and just click enter. pip install minus u sbring. Now again, don't worry about what this means. We'll cover it in details when we take these, uh, this course. So just let it install so I think I've already got it installed so what it would try to do is uh, it will most probably try to uninstall it and then install it back again so the logs that I'll be seeing in front of me right now may not be exactly equal to what you see but then uh, just go ahead with the installation and in the end you should just be able to see a success message um, somewhere around there uh, saying successfully installed S frame. So once that is done, I want you to type Python over here and this should open up a Python console just like this. It shouldn't give you any errors, just to say. So hit Control C to come out of this and there's two more things I'd like you to do. Type spider, S-P-Y-D-E-R and click enter. So Spider is the integrated development environment or the IDE for Python. Uh, we'll go through it, but we won't be covering that in much details. And one more thing I'd like you to do in a separate command window is typing this text, IPython Notebook. Now, once you type IPython Notebook, it should fire up IPython Notebook in a browser so once we have spider open and once we have ipython notebook open i guess we'll be good so let's wait for these uh, to start so 
so yeah the IPython notebook has already started and it should show you something like this it's a Jupyter notebook and this is where we'll be uh, doing our classes so this comes up well and fine and also something like this would open up the spider IDE so just make sure you've got those in place and once that is done uh, especially if uh, all goes well as described then uh, I guess congratulations is in order you have successfully installed Python and you're absolutely ready to take this course So once it comes up, congratulations again, you've set things up correctly and I'll be hoping you to see you in this course. See you soon. Enjoy.